In New Mexico, Pueblo is now being honored for teaching kids skills that develop science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, through Native American traditions. News 13's Jamie Seymour went to the Pueblo to see the lessons firsthand. She's here with a, this morning with a look. David, good morning. Most STEM education takes place in the classroom or the lab, but the Flower Hill Institute on the Jemez Pueblo is taking education outside, bringing students right to the land for hands-on learning about their environment. Flower Hill is a place where indigenous people's routes all connect to that one mountain. In the Jemez Pueblo, Joseph Toledo uses that mountain in his teachings through the Flower Hill Institute. At the Institute, he teaches young students about the environment through native traditions using the elements like fire, water and air quality and the impact of agriculture. We need to start training our youth about the environmental issues that we're going through, especially the global warming issues of climate change. This unique take on STEM education through nature is now bringing national attention to the Pueblo, awarding a $50,000 education grant to Flower Hill. The grant that we applied for were, was some extra uh, support that we needed to, in order for us to do the outreach, not only with our Pueblo people, but all Pueblo people. Toledo says his teachings take on everything from water testing to agriculture and combating climate change. We teach a lot about the coping skills. On how do we cope with weather? How do we cope with Mother Earth? How do we bring the balance to understand it? And do we have answers? Yes, we do. It's a powerful lesson he hopes they will continue to carry on through future generations. And we're teaching them about what they did at that time to what's going on today. So the connectiveness is we need this indigenous ancestral knowledge to play a part. And in addition to the youth STEM camps, Flower Hill also offers seminars on everything from business and economics to tribal history. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jamie. Flower Hill is just one of five organizations to receive the Education Award this year.